Would you swallow a medical implant to protect your health? Pretty soon, you can. Hey, this is Annie for DNews. We know that even common medications can have side effects that aren't fun. You know, those ones that pharma companies spit out at the end of their ads as quickly as humanly possible. And exacerbating this is the fact that about half of people take meds incorrectly anyway, according to one survey by the World Health Organization. Scientists are working on this problem, though, in the form of smart meds or even implants. A team from the American Chemical Society built nanosheets that combined anti-inflammatory drugs with electrodes through a polymer film. They were then able to control the release of the drug through electrical shocks. It's still in the development stage, but they say this technique could be useful in treating diseases like epilepsy, where a medication is already in your body and can be released right away as the seizure happens. This study is just one of many projects in the works to create programmable meds, though. For example, swallowable microchips have already been approved by the FDA. A company called Proteus Digital created microchip embedded pills with tiny sensors that can react to digestive juices. That relays a signal to a patch on your skin, which can then be relayed to your doctor. So if something's awry, or if you're not doing your meds correctly, they can get alerted automatically. And in 2012, scientists built tiny nanobots out of human DNA. These act kind of like a Trojan horse they look and act like normal DNA, but hold enzymes that can treat cancer. These are still in the development stage too, but doctors are hopeful that these treatments can be programmed to attack cancer on the molecular level. And then of course, there are those smart contact lenses recently announced by Google, which are meant to track glucose levels through your tears. There are actually a bunch of companies working on similar concepts, and for more on that, check out my video on my other channel if you're interested. So whether it's a lens, a minuscule cluster of DNA, or a swallowable microchip, your future doctor might be smarter and a lot tinier. Would you be willing to swallow a pill that sends your info to your doctor? Let us know why or why not in the comments. And as always, you can talk back to the show on Twitter at DNews or the Discovery News Facebook page. And I'm also at Annie Gauss. Thanks for watching. See you next time.